So in addition to the XYZ T stack, um, most HP calculators have the ability to store and recall into various other registers. So for example, if I have a number uh, 4.33, and that's just a constant that I use regularly, or I'm using it in a certain calculation, I get a result, I want to store it somewhere to save it for uh, a different portion of the calculation, then I can say store, and then hit the register that I want to store it into. So I have just stored it into the zeroth register. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 different registers. So let's say I clear that and I'm doing other things and then I want to recall that, uh, that number that I just stored. I do recall and 0 and it pulls that number back in from the 0 register. One thing you can also do is if you uh, want to swap contents, so let's say I've got Right now I have 4.33 stored in my zero register, but I want to, I've got another number, um, 5.1, and I want to save that in my zero register, but I don't want to lose what's in my zero register. I'm actually going to swap them back and forth. So you'll see right here is this X2 uh, register, so you swap those back and forth above this key. So I hit Shift, and then swap it in to the zeroth register. So now I've got 4.33 in my X and I should have that 5.1 stored in zero. So if I recall zero, it'll pull that 5.1 back. Now unfortunately at this point I've lost my 4.33. It, it'll actually be in the Y portion of the stack so I can swap it down that way. But anyway, so you can swap in and out of registers. Another thing that you can do with registers that might be helpful is you can perform operations when you store something. So say I've got the number 2 and I want to store that into register 0. And then later I've got the number 3 and I want to add it to what I've got in register 0, whatever I've got in there. So I can do store plus 0. Now I've added 3 to uh, the number 2 that I had stored in there earlier. And now I've got uh, 5, and I want to add that one. Or maybe I want to multiply. Uh, sorry. 5 store times 0. So now I have multiplied my register 0, which had 2 to begin with. Then I added 3. So that's 5. Then I multiplied 5. So if I recall it now, I should have 25 stored in that register. So again, you can perform operations on these with the uh, division, multiplication, uh, subtraction, and addition. Now, further note that there are uh, index registers, but I'm not going to cover that here. You can look at the manual. And then one last thing to note about your registers. You'll see that I have stored, I'll recall, register 0. I've got my 4.33 in there. If I wanted to clear all of my registers, I just hit the gold shift and then you have this sequence of clears, so clear registers. And now if I recall from zero, nothing's there anymore.